All right, we're back here. <clears throat> the third thing that I wanted to do in this in this was, um, if you recall, we had set our virtual box guest editions ISO up as a CD rod image previously. I don't want that right now. I'm going to go ahead and change that back to the um, OpenSUSE ISO simply because that's what I want in, in, in case I need any resources off that uh, DVD. So I'm going to go ahead and start this back up again. And again, I'll pause while it boots. All right, we have booted up, and now I'm going to go ahead and sign back in. And again, as I was pointing out before, my VirtualBox guest editions are installed and operational. ISO CD-ROM image for my system is back up and running. And you notice my network is now disconnected and that's because we've had a network change. So give it just a second here. Let me go ahead and edit my network connection now. And there we are. And double check that. That's good. Apply. We should be getting an IP address now if everything worked. And looks like we've got it. And we can verify this. Um, let me do a quick ping. Oh, they don't like that. Okay. So I'm getting out on the internet. Um, so the network is working even though I'm bridged. Life is good and I could actually verify that. I could go and launch a web browser here and go check something. Um, while that's doing that, in the oh look at that, yay there's a web browser. So if I said uh, www. Okay, so we have, um, our network is working, we've bridged it, uh, I've lost my focus, there we go. And so now what I need to do is I need to gain access to those shared folders. So I can come in here and I can look at my, sh let me cancel this so you can actually see that. I can come to devices and I can look at my shared folders. And there it is right there, and the name of it is shared and it's there and I have full access and that's great. Uh, the problem is I, I need to mount that shared folder within my operating system so I can gain access to it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open a terminal window. And so here I am. And VirtualBox shared folders can be accessed very easily. We just simply need to mount them to the file system. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to change directories back to my root. And um, and right there, you'll notice uh, I have you know bin, dev, home, lib64, all my, my typical stuff. What I want to do is I want to create a mount point for my um, share. So I'm going to create a directory here, and I'm going to call it shared, just because that's... There we go. And you see it's right there. I can see it. Life is good. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to mount my VirtualBox shared folders. Not really that difficult to do. Um, I'm going to issue the command mount. And I need to uh, issue the parameter minus T, and this tells the system that I'm going to be mounting a virtual file system, and it wants to know what type of virtual file system I'm going to be mounting, and I'm going to be mounting a virtual box file system, VBOXSF, and the system learned this when we installed the virtual box guest editions. It learned what a virtual box shared folder was like, and now the next parameter is the name of the folder in terms of what VirtualBox calls it. And if you recall from devices, 
shared folders. That's called shared. Pretty easy. So I'll type in uh, shared. And now uh, the system needs to know where should I mount it and I'm, where should I set this mount point. And I'm going to set that mount point to that directory I created. So backslash shared. And uh, got a wonderful protocol error. Why did I get a pro protocol error? problem here. Mount space minus T VBox SF shared slash shared. And that's fun. Okay, welcome to real world training. I'm going to put this on pause while I research the error and then I'll come back and tell you why I had protocol error.